hey what's up guys i'm lan here welcome back to a new video on my channel in this video i'm going to talk about ios 16.0.3 update on my iphone 13 as you can see this is an iphone 13 and yesterday night i received ios 16.0.3 unfortunately i wasn't able to capture the size of the update but looks like it came in about 1 gb on my iphone 13 so if you're having any device starting from iphone 8 to iphone 14 you would have the update and it will be a large install so in this video we're going to take a look at what's new with ios 16.0.3 from the update it is very much clear that this is a security update because point 0.1 point 0.2 these are all security updates so in this video let's have a look at what's new and what are the bugs that got fixed with iphone 13 or 14 or the newer models so make sure you watch this video till the end but before that if you're new here and happen to enjoy this kind of videos on my channel do give this video a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to the channel that gives me a lot of motivation to make more content like this now with that being said let's get right into the video all right guys so the first things first let me go to the settings general and about section as you can see if i uh, show you the ios version it says ios 16.0.3 and the new build number is 20a392 now i had taken a screenshot before updating as you can see before updating the build number was 20a380 and with this update at least for iphone 13 there is no new modem firmware so if you look at the firmware so as you can see uh, after updating it is 2.0 0.09.01 and if i show you before updating as well it was your 2.09.01 but one good thing is that the available storage space have been increased. So before updating, as you can see, it was 64.52. And after updating, it has sort of increased till 70 GB. So that's a good thing. Now let's talk about what's new with this update. So if I show you the screenshot, it is pretty much evident that this update was specifically launched for iPhone 14. So if you go through the update line by line, it clearly says that incoming call and app notification may be delayed or not delivered on iphone 14 pro and 14 pro max model so with this year launch with iphone 14 pro and pro max with the dynamic island apple has got you know many bugs that are not resolved so they are trying to just push updates of the security fix so that they can you know fix those existing issues so mostly this update covers all those bugs people have been facing and then they have given their feedback to the apple so apple has just tried to fix that apart from that also this update contains important security fixes so if i go to this support.apple.com and if i go to the release notes of ios 16.0.3 as you can see that it says mail so there's just one point it says available for iphone 8 and later so the impact is processing a maliciously crafted email message may lead to denial of service and description and the CV vulnerability is mentioned. So I would say if you're on iOS 16 or 16.0.2, then definitely it is for this security update alone, it is worth updating to the latest one. Because not only all the time you expect new features, because time to time you need to keep up with the new security fixes that the company is launching to protect your privacy and protect your iPhone security. So you need to update that. But if you're on iOS 15.7 and you want to debate, I would still say, I mean, till the time iOS 16.1 is getting launched, maybe you are having an older iPhone, then the battery percentage feature won't be available for you. So then you could actually wait till iOS 16.1 gets launched. So as of recording this video, today is 11th of October, uh, you know, probably by tomorrow, day after tomorrow, we might get to see iOS 16.1 release candidate. And once we get to see the release candidate, the following week, we can actually expect iOS 16.1 public release. And talking about the performance, there's nothing new, but for your reference, I have also rammed the Geekbench 5 because you guys asked me to do. So the single core score is 1735, and the multi core score is 4587. So the scores are pretty much similar what we received with iOS 16.0.2. So there's not much change with the Geekbench score. The performance is good actually with iOS 16.0.3. So there's no issue as such, at least on this iPhone 13. 
and talking about the battery you know it's it's pretty early to comment about the battery at the moment because i have just updated yesterday so you know this you know security updates or 0 0.01 0 0.02 this doesn't affect the battery life at all because the update is pretty much similar so this doesn't affect the battery life but talking about the battery graph as you can see i've been getting a uh, average battery overall if you consider last 10 days the screen on time is 4 hours 20 minutes and the screen off time is 1 hour 30 minutes and if i talk about the battery health after updating as well the battery health is 100 percent for your reference i've been using this iphone for now you know three to four months so the battery health should be 100 percent but then again for your reference it is at its peak performance capability so with the help of this video i just wanted to let you know that we all have received ios 16.0.3 if you are on ios 16 then definitely do update to ios 16.0.3 let me know in the comment section below whether you are on ios 15.7 or have you updated your iphone to ios 16 i know for a fact many people are still on ios 15.7 they're skeptical about the battery life they're skeptical about the new bugs that are coming out every day and we are getting feedback from all over the place but then again for the features or you know for the security fixes if you are on ios 16 it is definitely worth updating to ios 16.0.3 with the help of this video i just wanted to let you know that we have received this update and if you are on ios 16 do update and let me know which ios version you are using on your iphone so that's it i will see you on my next video Bye bye